Hello everybody and welcome to Simulate Gaming and welcome back to Ballincraig Estate here on Farming Simulator 17. So it's been a couple of days since we have uh, been on this map because of course we've been playing uh, we've been playing Lone Oak, which is pretty cool. In fact, we were on this on the live stream, um, which is how these bales got in here. Um, so we've now stacked up the bales from a previous video into here. These are now just going to be staying hay. But we also bailed another field which is now ready for collection. So we're going to be using... Mm, we could use the Fiat again. Yeah, we used no right. What I'm talking about? We can use the Renault. Sorry, the Fiat's over there. We'll use the Renault. So let's go ahead and get this gate open, like so. We'll jump in to the Renault here real quick. There's no IC, is there? No, I still haven't changed to the other version of it. Right, let's get head tracking on. We get a reset. Um, that should do like that. Right, let's get it cranked up, and we'll go and collect our uh, wrapper. Now we're going to be able to make this look. Turning here, I love the sound of this tractor. May not be the uh, the best mod in the world, but it's definitely got one of the best sounds I've heard. Right, so we want to go ahead and collect this. It's actually moved somehow. I parked that completely straight, and somehow it's uh, turned around. Now I have fixed the head tracking a little bit, so we can now actually look behind us, which is pretty cool. Like so. Right. Let's get out of here. Let's hook this up. I still haven't got around to... That was the wrong button simulate. Still haven't got a, I still haven't button simulate. Uh, I still haven't got around to actually mapping out a, uh, an IC button though. You can see it's lifted up. We now have the hoses... Mm, I would say connected. Sort of just floating here. Of course this tractor doesn't support the, uh, the hoses. I might have to add that myself to put in a couple of nodes. I'm ready to go. Let's put it into forwards. Now we're going to come out this way so we can actually get through the gate. Um, now, we did actually wrap one single bale in the previous video, but that was an accident. I don't know if you guys remember that. We completely wrapped a random bale, which we didn't mean to do. So, luckily, we don't actually need to feed it today, because this is a trailed... Where are we going? Is it this field? Yeah. This is a trailed wrapper, so we don't actually need to um, take bales to it. We can drive up to the bales, which is a nice little uh, addition. As opposed to a, a 3.1. Or I should say, more specifically, it's got a pickup. Right, this is going to be a bit of a tight one. I love this entrance to the field. Sarcasm. Right, let's go full lock. We're going to make this. Oh, it's looking close. We're going to make it though. Yeah, we did it. So I understand why a lot of people don't like this map. Um, it is pretty tight in terms of like the yard and stuff, but it's just. It's the sort of map I'm into. I like it like this. Um, there we go. Let's get that unfolded. Nothing to turn on on this. It just sort of magically works. So what way is it? We're going to go width ways. So I'm not going to get one that's a little bit too close. Let's try... Where are the bales? I'm surprised they're still sort of in the field. I thought they'd all rolled down the hill by now. All right, let's just try this one here. I believe we just got a sort of kiss the side of the tractor with it and it should get picked up by the wrapper. We're a little bit off here. Luckily it's magic this one. Apparently not. I thought it was going to be a little bit more lenient than that. Apparently not. We have to be completely straight. Let's try that again. Let's go full lock. No. <laughs> God dang it. Right, let's try a different one. I've messed that one right up already. Ah, so it's 32 degrees in my room. Um, if you've heard me say it in my last video, it's because it's the same same day, it's still Sunday. I've recorded two in a row so I can actually get some decent amount of videos out to you guys because I have got a massive secret which I still am not allowed to tell you. But by the time this one goes out, um, most of you might know, you might not know. Right, let's go ahead and switch that one in like that. There we go, that was perfect. So that's now going to start wrapping. We can unload, and meanwhile, let's position ourselves ready for the next bell. There's some bells like that one there we're going to need to feed it for just to get them out the ditch basically. And we're just going to stop here a minute. If we can't go uphill, there's no hill for them to roll down. Right, finally, it's finished. Let's go ahead and get that one unloaded real quick. So it automatically cuts. Um, well, on this it does. I don't know if in real life this thing might have to do it with the Stanley blade. I assume it's got a cutter, but once again, I've never seen one in real life, so it could be relying on a knife of some sort. Right, let's try this one here real quick. So we do have a couple of jobs to do today. This is the first one. See how many we can get done. There we go, there's a lot of it. A lot more successful. Now this one's definitely going to roll down the hill. Let's get a four-wheel drive on a little bit here because we're struggling. 
we'll stop positioning this one up here. So meanwhile, whilst we wait for this, and we'll get this one ready, so it should automatically just load this one up in a second. Let's go and get the Fiat real quick, to see if we can get some of the ones that are out, in the bush, out the bush. Oh, here we are, in the, well, I keep saying it's a Fiat, it is a New Holland, everyone knows that, but I prefer the, uh, the Fiat versions, personally. Let's get that turn around. See? It's not that tight of a yard. You can get around. Let's do the U-turn. Let's get that up nice and high. We're not going onto the road. We just want to quickly swing around into this field here. Cool. So how are you guys doing? I hope you are doing well. So this video, I have no idea when this is going out. This is probably Wednesday's video, maybe. Um, I'm getting quite a lot recorded today. I did a lone oak farm and now this one. And I'm going to try and do either one more farm sim or even Euro Truck Simulator 2 after this. I haven't played Euro Truck for a while. I've also had a lot of requests for OMSI, so we're going to look at that. Alright, that's that one rescued some lot. Let's just put you down here or something. Hopefully, you don't roll away. Right, let's try it again. I went a little bit too low there. Get her into reverse. I'll be terrible at that, um, what's that thing they have at farm con, the bail loading competition? I'll be terrible at that. Absolutely terrible. Absolutely. <laughs> I wouldn't stand a chance. And I saw another one, where was it? It was along this bush somewhere, this hedge. Oh, there it is. Let's go ahead and position that out a minute. Well, that should do nicely. Ooh, sugar. Awesome. And we're done. I think that's the only two that were in the hedge. I think. Don't quote me on that. We'll probably find some in a minute that we uh, didn't know about. So let's go ahead and say what we'll just leave us here for now. Let's get the engine turned off. We'll run back over to the Renault. We'll get this one loaded and then that one should automatically um, load up then. Bye-bye. Uh, Is that one going to load? Yes, it has. Cool. Let's go find another one. One that we can attack head-on. This one here next to the uh, the Fiat looks pretty good. Let's see if we can position this first time. Uh... No. Messed that right up. No! Ugh. <sighs> Sometimes the bail physics, just sometimes, they really tick me off. Right, let's try this one. It's a lot closer now, so it should be okay. It's come out a little bit here. Got the scooch in. That one should do. Right, let's get that unloaded. Okay, so we've just jumped in to the Massey Ferguson. Uh, let's see if we can get around that bail fork, uh, that pallet fork. Sorry. So this thing does have a front three point or front linkage. So we're going to be trying to use that today. Hopefully it can handle the weight. Let's just go ahead and see exactly what's going on here. I don't know which of these is which. And I believe one's already over at the field, actually. So this one here we need to reverse into. So this is bail handlers. We're not going to bother using the um, front loader for now because we're not, like, transporting them down the road or anything. Although, with that being said, are we actually going to get through the gates with this one? I don't think I've thought that through. We might not actually get through any of the gates with this rear handler on. Um, it does... No, this one doesn't fold. I have a folding one in the mod list, but this isn't it. This one just tilts upward, I believe. Yeah, like that. This one doesn't fold away. Done it. Dang it. Right. So, yeah, we might not be able to get through the gates here. Let's try that now before we put some bales on. Uh, actually, no, we should be able to get through. Look at that. Yeah, we've got loads of room. So, need to head up to this field just up here a second. Because I believe this is where... The, um, the bell handler is. Maybe. Question is where? There it is. I knew it was up here somewhere. Right, let's go ahead and r swing this around. Hook this up here. Like so. And we're good to go. So we're now have the Massey Ferguson waiting to 
transport a whopping three bales at a time into wherever we decide to store them. I think we're just going to leave them on the, uh, the field uh, where the rest of our bales are. So we don't actually need these silage bales, but um, I'm planning on selling some. We've only got £20,000 and it's only like day two of the Let's Play technically because it's all been done in the same day, game day. Um, right. Are we going to be able to get through here? Mm, don't think so. Just first up a little bit here. Let's go full lock. I don't want to get the uh, bell handler wedged. No, we're not going to get that back in. Let's reverse. Here it is. There you go. There's my farm. Uh, there's my farming skills. I can't even get simple equipment through a gate. But I hate hitting things, so I'd rather do it properly. There we go. We're through. We're ready to start collecting these. Now these do support straps as well, so they're not going to fall off in a second. Um, in fact, that Renault can't actually unload just yet because of this bale here. So let's go ahead. Actually, can we? Well, that's how you do it. I completely forgot then. I was like, how do you pick up the bale in the first place? And you have to actually lower the, uh, the three point. Let's see if we can do this first time here. There we go. Let's get that lifted up. Reverse out a little bit. Cool. Right, let's jump out. We get the strap on here. I think it's just the one. Yes, it is just the one. That's not all the button I wanted to simulate. Well done, sir. There we go. Let's get that one unloaded. Meanwhile, we can probably collect two more bales. Oh, there is another bale in the hedge. See it? Missed that one a minute ago. I told you we'd find another one eventually. Right, actually, whilst that Renault's there, this is going to be a perfect opportunity to collect this bale, I reckon. The one that is just unloaded. No, that's the wrong one. Let's switch to that. Right, hopefully we're not digging into the floor too much with this. Is that too wide? Or have I just gone at a really awkward angle? I can't actually do this from in-cab. It might be a little bit easier. There we go. Perfect. So I'd be much better at this in real life than I actually am in game. I'm a lot better when I'm actually there evaluating stuff. Um, let's get that picked up. We might have to pull the run out away. Let's pull the run out away. I think we're going to have to run it up at this uh, rate. Like so. Right, so what I'm going to do is take these back. Oh, should we need to find one more bell, don't we? Um, in fact, while this actually on the gr no, I'm going to use gravity to make it a little bit neater. So let's get that lifted up. Let's throw the strap over this. Ah, uh, cool, that's now two. Let's find one more. We'll unload these, and then I think we'll time lapse some of the rest of them. Um, are we going to be able to collect this one? That's the question. I'm assuming this still works even with the strap on. Right, let's go into that way. Mm-hmm. I think we're going into the side of that, that's why it's moving. There we go, but no. What's going on here? There we go. We got it. Right, let's get that one lifted up, and we're now done. So it's a very, very long-winded way of doing this, but like I said, we're not really leaving the yard well, we're not leaving the yard at all, so there's no point in getting the trailer, maneuvering that around the yard and all that malarkey, it's stacking them up when we could literally just carry them like this, so. Let's go ahead. Oh, wrong gear simulate. Let's quickly take this over. In fact, no, whilst we do that, let's tab back into the Fiat real quick. Uh, the Renault, sorry. It's getting confusing now. Do we actually have any other bills for him to collect? No, that one's in a hedge. Okay, that's all the bills done. Dang it. Right, okay. Let's just switch to the Massey real quick. So yeah, we'll be able to tell which ones we've done and which ones were already here, because the ones that are already here were white, and this one is obviously bright pink, so we can tell which ones exactly is the ones we can uh, work, which ones are the ones we give to the cows, etc. Right, let's go ahead and back this up like so. Now, one thing I've not actually tried on this, can we position these before we release the straps, or is that just going to be a complete mess if I do that? No, we can't. Okay. 
That's the wrong button for a start simulate. Uh, we kind of can. Well, we are sort of wedged into the ground as well, which is not ideal. There we go. Let's get these straps off real quick. Hopefully they'll neatly fall into position, like so. Why would this strap come off? Do I have to be actually on the strap? There we go. We did it. The one thing we're not going to be able to do with this little uh, system we got going on here is stack them, obviously. So we have to find another way to do that. I think we'll probably go like eight along, and then we can double roll that. Actually, I don't think we're going to need to stack them this time around. Maybe next time, because don't forget we're going to be going too, too deep as well. So let's get that one unfolded like that. I'm not too worried about how neat and tidy they are together as long as they're in the field and we can access them. I have just noticed one thing though. I don't know how we're going to pick this up with the bell handler because the bell handler doesn't work like this. It has to go underneath. So we'll have to troubleshoot that problem when we get to it. But there we go. That is the first three done. I got confused why there was four here then, but there's already one here. Wasn't there? So that's the first three done. What we're going to do right now is time lapse some of the rest of this. So sit back, enjoy, get yourself a drink. And I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have now finished stacking. They're not very neat, I mean, but they'll do for now. I've seen worse stacking jobs. Land again, I'm looking at you. Um, so let's go ahead and quickly, one more thing we need to do today is just to give the cows a little bit more food. And um, We're going to give them TMR when we get some straw, but for now, we're just going to give them some hay because they do accept hay and also grass because i got a mod that lets them have grass. Um, but that's a waste of a silage bell. So let's go ahead and jump in to the field. We'll get a couple of... Um, not straw bales, sorry, hay bales. We'll give that to them. And that should be them sorted for a couple of days at least. Until um, until we get the TMR ready at least. I do like those bell handers. They're pretty easy. It takes a lot longer than stacking them. But I do like them quite a lot. Right, let's go ahead and swivel ourselves around here. Excuse the squeak. That's the Brody Noel playing up once again. I think he's a bit more WD-40 on that. Right, let's go ahead and lower that down here. So our bales are now in here. Hopefully we can get them... Out as quick as we got them in. Ah, uh, we're stuck on something. That's the back wheel. We're actually stuck on nothing. Okay, it turns out we weren't stuck on nothing. Um, we're a bit longer than I thought. I didn't take into account the actual bell spikes, only the actual front loader console itself, so the actual spikes were stuck into the wall. I thought it was the back wheels, but it wasn't. So let's go ahead and do a little three-point turn here. This is not going to be easy, is it? So we've just folded the, or faced the forks down for now. There's two on top we can get here. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Luckily I've got this on my steering wheel. 
Are we going to be able to reach the ones at the top there? Let's move the camera up a little bit. Should be able to. wonder if we can get them both through the door, though. Um, are you going to stay on there? Hopefully. Let's zoom out again. Um, slow and steady. Come on, please don't fall off. Please don't fall off. I think we're through. No, we're not through. Come on. I think I'd rather give the... Uh... <gasps> what happened? We didn't even hit anything. I am baffled. Absolutely baffled. Right, we'll get that one in a second. We didn't literally hit nothing, look. What happened? That was dodgy physics. I'm putting that down to dodgy physics. Um... I can't remember where we actually feed the cows, you know. Um, I think it was this way. Let's go look for this. It's been a while since we fed them, so... I'm a little bit rusty. I think it was in... Not that shed. It was outside, I believe, wasn't it? Down here, I want to say? I think it was down here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. There's the trigger. I was hoping... I was worried we had to go for a gate or something, but look, we did not. Let's get that lifted up for now, just so we don't get stuck on anything else once again. I have no idea how that bell fell off. Any ideas? Right. Just grab this one, doesn't matter how neat it is. This is the only one we're picking up now. Like so. Tell you what, it's because your health and safety aren't coming to my farm anytime soon. That is not secure. Right. We still got it? Reverse back up the yard here. Where is that little uh, cubby hole we need to go down? There it is. Oh, why are diff locks on? Let's get them off. I thought it was a four wheel drive on. Let's get that off as well. There we go. Both hay bales is done right now, so let's go ahead and go to there. So they now have pretty much. They have 8,000 litres. I don't think we're going to put another bale in just yet because it seems like a bit of a waste because that's definitely not a 4,000. A uh, little gap there, so it will be a bit of a waste. So I'm going to leave it here. So thank you very, very much for joining me. This might have been a short video, depending on what happens during editing. It actually took about an hour in real life, so a bit not good. But thank you very, very much for joining me in this episode. If you did enjoy, please hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean a lot. We're doing some good progress here on Battling Craig Estate. I'm not sure how long the series is going to go on for. Once again, it's only a really small map that we're using to tie this over, basically. So once again, thank you very much. I've been Simulate Gaming, and I'll see you in the next one.